Kyrgyzstan. When I told my friends that I had planned a trip to Kyrgyzstan, the most common answer was, Kyrgyz what? And I repeated, Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is an amazing, uncommon travel destination. With an incredible display of rivers, waterfalls, and nearly 2,000 lakes, its beautiful mountainous landscape has provided the setting for over 2,000 years of history. We spent 10 days in Kyrgyzstan and explored many of its most famous places. Located in Central Asia, Kyrgyzstan is bordered by Kazakhstan to the northwest and north, by China to the east and south, and by Tajikistan and Uzbekistan to the south and west. Most of Kyrgyzstan's borders run along mountain crests. Formerly a constituent republic of the USSR, Kyrgyzstan declared its independence on August 31, 1991. The capital is Bishkek. Our travel plan was based on the experience of our dear guide and friend, Uman, from the company Kyrgyz Riders, who I strongly advise if you want to travel to this country, see details in the description. So, our travel plan was to explore the following places in 7 days. Jalgas Karage Pass, Son Kol Lake, Tashrabat, Chatter Kol Lake, Kelsu Lake, Kochkor Village, Eagle Hunting Experience, the Skaska Canyon, Jidiogas Red Mountains, Karakal Village, and Grigorivka Gorge. So let's briefly show the main highlights of each of these places. In order not to miss our upcoming videos about Kyrgyzstan, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Jalgas Karage Pass After breakfast with the Shepherd's family, we start our horseback adventure through the Kalimsh Valley and then through the Jalgas Karage Pass at 3,400 meters high. Along the way that would take us to the top of the mountain, the trail was winding, sometimes narrow, steep, and rocky. Despite the horses being used to this route, the effort they were making was quite visible. However, only in this way is it possible to enjoy the beauty of nature that was in front of our eyes. The valleys below, the slopes of the mountains all around, the vestiges of the last snow that has not yet melted, merged in a unique beauty until we reached the top of the pass, where we enjoyed an incredible view of the Song Kol Lake. At the top of the pass, we stopped to enjoy the view over the lake in front of us, but also to remember the valleys and mountains we had left behind. We also take the opportunity to take some photographs and record some material to show you. Song Kol Lake After the horses rest for a while at the top of Jalgas Karage Pass, we begin the descent to Song Kol Lake. Song Kol, literally following lake, is an alpine lake in northern Narn province. It lies at an altitude of 3,016 meters, and has an area of about 270 square kilometers. The lake's maximum length is 29 kilometers, breadth about 18 kilometers, and the deepest point is 13.2 meters. It is the second largest lake in Kyrgyzstan, after Usuk Kul Lake, and the largest freshwater lake in Kyrgyzstan. The descent was made in a completely different scenario, with a less accentuated slope, in the middle of quiet hills covered with undergrowth, which gave them the appearance of an immense grassy field. The weather was getting worse and we wanted to get to the Kyrgyz riders camp before the rain caught us. That night we slept at the camp, where we enjoyed dinner in a pleasant and welcoming family atmosphere. The next day, with a good night's sleep in the comfortable yurt, we had a wonderful breakfast with a spectacular view of the lake and the snow-capped mountains that skirt the southern shore of the lake. We then took a walk around the camp, went to the lake to test the water temperature, 16 degrees Celsius, not bad, and still had time to take a horse ride up the mountain. When we got back we packed our bags to head to Tashrabat, our next destination. Tashrabat. After a few hours, in which we passed through places and landscapes of pristine beauty, but in which we also had the misfortune of blowing one of the jeep's tires. We arrived at Tashrabat. Some say that Tashrabat was built as a caravanserai, so that tired travelers passing through heavy mountain passes along the roads of the Great Silk Road could rest, warm up, and spend the night continuing their way in the early morning. 
According to another version, Tashrabat was a monastery, and served as a home for Nestorian monks. However, there is written evidence that this fortress was built by Muhammad Khan, one of the rulers of Mughalistan formed after the collapse of the empire of Genghis Khan. Tashrabat is the only building of its kind on the territory of Kyrgyzstan. From the inside, there is a long corridor along which there are rooms going in different directions. The corridor leads to the central hall where small holes are cut in the ceiling letting the daylight in. All other rooms are immersed in darkness. In one of the rooms, there are two depressions in the ground for prisoners. The facade of the building is traditionally directed to the east, it has a portal with a classical arch and corner towers which are literally intended for the sentinel guard. The roof of Tashrabat is crowned with 20 small and one large domes. This historical monument is located at an altitude of more than 3,000 meters among the high impregnable mountains of the Tian Shan. Chatter Kul Lake Chatter Kul is an endorheic alpine lake, in the Tian Shan Mountains in the Atbashi district of Naran province of Kyrgyzstan. It lies in the lower part of the Chatter Kul depression near the Tarugart Pass border crossing into China. The name of the lake means Celestial Lake in Kyrgyz. The lake and 2 km buffer zone around it is part of the Karadal Japiric State Nature Reserve. The lake is a Ramsar site of globally significant biodiversity. The mean annual temperature in the lake basin is minus 5.6 degrees Celsius. The maximum temperature in summer is 24 degrees Celsius, and the minimum one in winter is minus 50 degrees Celsius. From October to the end of April the lake surface freezes, the ice becoming as much as 0.25 to 1.5 meters thick. Kelsu Lake Kelsu Lake is located in the remote area of the Aksai and Kokkia Valleys, almost on the Kyrgyz border with China. Please note that a border permit is required to visit the lake. Once you reach the yurt camps at Kurumduk Valley, or build your own tent camp, the lake is relatively easy to reach, without significant climbs. Of course we had our friend and guide, Aman, to take us to the lake. Lake is located 5 kilometers from the yurt camps and round trip should take approximately 3 hours. Even though the route is easy, altitude makes the hike slightly more challenging. The way to the lake is in itself a highlight of this trip. During the ride, we can observe the distant mountain peaks still covered with snow, the green slopes closer to us, where yaks, cows, sheep and horses coexist in the pasture, and even the watercourses fed by the melted snow on the top of the mountains. All in a timeless harmony of color and movement, which makes these places stay forever in the memory of those who visit them. The lake sits on the headwaters of the Kurumduk River, at an altitude of about 3,600 meters above sea level. It was formed by a strong earthquake, and to see all of it, you need to sail on a boat. The level of water changes year to year. So beware of this fact. Kelsu Lake is considered one of the most beautiful mountain lakes in Kyrgyzstan. It was not well known only a few years ago, but it now attracts tourists from all over the world. It's an amazing place with breathtaking atmosphere at any time of the day. Eagle hunting experience. So the, the, the eyes of the eagle is very, very strong, so the, she can see anything from five kilometers. That's wow. why they, they close the eyes, too, because in this, in this situation, she uh, the eagle uh, sits, uh, she stays like uh, more calm, calmer. Because if you took out uh, this cap, she sees anything and she wants to attack. The Skaska Canyon Moving along the south coast of Usukul Lake, from Karakal Town, before you reach the small village named Kajisai, you have an opportunity to get into the most beautiful mountain landscapes. There you'll find Skaska Canyon, commonly known as Fairy Tale Canyon. The word Skaska directly translates to fairy tale from Russian. Formed as a result of thousands of years of ice, water and wind erosion, 
This magnificent desert-like landscape has transformed into an array of sculptures and formations, where red spires of rock rise out of the earth and into the sky. It truly is a fairy tale. Jetty Ogas Red Mountains Jetty Ogas is a sandstone formation about 25 kilometers southwest of Karakal. The name means seven bulls, which comes from the fact that the rocks look like seven bulls. Jetty Ogas rocks are a protected nature monument. As if beauty wasn't enough, Amon prepared us a delicious late afternoon snack, where we stayed until nightfall enjoying the beauty of the nature that surrounded us. Grigorivka Gorge On the last day of this tour, departing from Karakal village, and before reaching Bishkek, we went to visit the Grigorivka Gorge area. Here we had the opportunity to see a number of unique places of enormous beauty, such as the Barskoon waterfalls, the Alpine Lake Black Lake, and Grigorivka Gorge itself. Barskoon waterfall is one of the most famous waterfalls in Kyrgyzstan. Falling from a height of 24 meters, this is a spectacular waterfall and is relatively easily accessible. There are also several other smaller waterfalls nearby. Also nearby, is a giant face carved directly into a massive rock. Specifically, it is the giant head of cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. Then, going up the mountain, passing through green valleys where animals grazed in a harmony of color and movement, we went to visit an area where two small but beautiful lakes stood out. The lakes, generated by runoff water, stretched along the base of the slopes covered with medium-large trees. In a nearby camp, we find two enterprising young people doing their photography business with eagle and horseback riding. After visiting the lakes, we start the descent through the gorge. Along the way, we saw the beginning of the construction of a yurt. As always, the landscape around us was breathtaking. Our tour of northeastern Kyrgyzstan ends here. We stayed for another two days in Bishkek before we left for home. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel. In the coming weeks, we will be sharing more videos of this unforgettable journey through Kyrgyzstan. Once again I thank our guide and friend Amon from Kyrgyz Riders for all his support during the trip. See Kyrgyz Riders contact details in the description.